Humanitarian tragedies occur every day around the world. War, natural disasters, and disease claim millions of lives each year and leave devastation and untold suffering in their wake. But there is always hope. For two decades, International Medical Corps has responded to these crises, providing life-saving emergency care. Founded in 1984 by Dr. Robert Simon, International Medical Corps is at the forefront of global humanitarian relief and development efforts. The kind of work that we do, it's called working in complex emergencies. And in the 80s, there were probably about five. Last year, there's about 45. So it's not our imagination. The world is getting more violent and the needs are getting greater. What began with one man's vision in one country has expanded to more than 40 countries. Nancy, what does the International Medical Corps do? The last 20 years has been focused in developing countries, many of them crises and conflict zones. You work outside the United States? Most of our work so has been outside. So what are you outside. doing here? We decided as an international relief and development organization that we wanted mm -hmm. to do something to help our fellow Americans. The scars from one of Africa's bloodiest civil wars still run deep. It's a program that Dr. Jeff Collier is starting up for America's International Medical Corps a group of doctors who work in the world's poorest and most dangerous places. Also streaming out of the war zone are Western relief workers. Bill and a few other Americans, like Debbie Burquist, work for the International Medical Corps, a kind of global 911. This is Nightline. English psychiatrist Lynn Jones working with Achenese children for the International Medical Corps. Dr. Mickey Richer is the medical director for the International Medical Corps here in Sudan. Ray McGrath is with the International Medical Corps. International Medical Corps, a Los Angeles-based relief agency. The International Medical Corps is the only relief agency here. While taking care of immediate medical needs in a disaster is essential, IMC's mission does not stop there. With more than 3,500 staff and volunteers worldwide, IMC helps rebuild lives. At the core of all IMC programs is training, giving local doctors, nurses, and other healthcare professionals the materials and skills they need to serve and sustain their communities with professionalism, dignity, and hope. They'll do anything that it takes to make sure that the people at the front lines who are giving care to those who need it are going to get it. Every individual is worth saving, worth helping, worth trying to figure out what's going on. You look in the eyes of children and you look in the eyes of women that you've treated and they're touched. And that's what's important is keeping people's spirits up. International Medical Corps training activities have a multiplier effect, spreading vital knowledge to regions that need it most. But IMC also helps devastated communities help themselves long after assistance from the international community has ended. But that's what we consider to be our mission, which is really to restore people's local capacity so that they can be self-reliant. He said that we are thinking and grateful for IMC. IMC, bringing hope to isolated communities and laying the foundation for a healthy future. <laughs>